I've observed that markets can find ways to make money in any environment, but they do really, really appreciate certainty. So, I mean, you think about the elections, you think about big world events, whenever there's uncertainty, I feel like you see that reflected in prices because they, they don't know what's coming around the corner. Companies feel that way and investors individually feel that way as well. And we see that in some of our conversations, but we do have, when we have more certainty, I think we can make plans and it's the same way with an individual versus a business. When you have certainty, some at least some reasonable amount of certainty of what's coming around the corner, you can begin to make plans in, in, in any environment. I think that's right. And I, I, I think you're hitting on something um, that is probably quite relatable, hopefully for, for most listeners, because I think about, we were talking about the corporate tax rate, right? And if you have stability in the corporate tax rate, then those companies can have a little bit more stability and foresight in how they're planning. If there's a lot of uncertainty around that, it's moving around a lot, that's going to be harder for them because they're, you know, companies are thinking about very long-term projects that they're, they're investing in. You can kind of draw a, um, a comparison to capital gains rate. Right. If there's a big change or there's a lot of uncertainty in what capital gains tax rates are going to be, income tax rates are going to be, I'd imagine that it makes your job a lot harder in planning, right? Of yeah. of what budget our clients going to be able to have and how do they think, you know, how do you think about spending in retirement, those things. So I think there's there's that piece of what investors feel around that uncertainty is is similar to probably what the corporations feel and what um, you know, maybe institutional investors feel and all that and contributes to that higher level of, of volatility. But you go back to this idea of, well, we've got a plan, right? Hopefully we've, we've got a plan. It might widen, you know, the range of outcomes a little bit, but they're pretty wide to, to begin with over short terms. As we think about that longer term horizon, right? Moving out that that's where hopefully it's narrowing again, back to that longer term average that we can feel good about and, and have a plan that uh, gives us a good chance for success. Last question for you, Phil. Thank you so much for, for joining us. You've been very generous with your time is instead of election results, because those are inherently unpredictable, um, what should investors focus on instead? 